Hello everyone. Back again with film recaps. We begin with the story of Lindy Lewis, who had a difficult upbringing due to both of her parents' lack of attention. Her trauma worsened over time, and she now suffers from intermittent explosive disorder. She may erupt in rage at the slightest provocation. Despite multiple failed treatments and a tour in the military aimed at helping her channel her wrath, her health did not improve. Dr. Munchen, her psychiatrist, then devised a treatment plan for her. He gave her an electric shock vest, which she uses to control her urges and keep herself from getting into fights. Lindy goes on a date with a boy named Justin on the current day in an attempt to live a regular life. She considers leaving at the last minute, but decides to give it a shot because he appears to be a nice guy to spend time with. During their chat, a waiter continually refuses the meals Justin requested, infuriating Lindy, but she manages to keep her cool. Lindy, on the other hand, overhears the waitress making fun of Justin while using the restroom. Lindy tries to utilize her invention, but it's ineffective. She cannot control herself and confronts and physically abuses the waitress before fleeing the restaurant without alerting Justin. Lindy takes the device to Dr. Munchen the next morning and requests that he repair it. As he works on it, he inquires about her previous night's date. Lindy believes the date was a flop since she has once again injured someone. Despite the fact that Dr. Munchen fixes the device, he underlines that the only long-term answer to her problem is to develop a stronger connection with someone and encourages her to pursue a relationship. Lindy walks away without saying anything. Despite having no intentions to contact Justin again, she calls him and requests a meeting. They get along well on their next encounter, and she even discusses her passion for photography with him. They go to Lindy's house, and he tries to kiss her. She feels concerned, however, since she fears she will injure him as well. Justin subsequently discovers her vest, but is unconcerned and spends the night with her. Lindy receives a camera from Justin the next morning. She is moved by his thoughtful gift and expresses her gratitude. She reluctantly discusses her disorder with him when he inquires about her medical equipment. She urges that he stay longer, but he must return to his office as an accountant. Before leaving, he invites her to eat at his residence. Lindy is overjoyed by this unexpected connection and expresses her joy to Dr. Munchen. She believes that because she did not use her gadget the night before, this relationship may not necessitate it. She spends the day snapping shots with her new camera after visiting the doctor. As she is getting ready for dinner, she receives a message from Justin informing her that he may be late. When she contacts him, Detective Vickers informs her that Justin has been murdered. Lindy goes to the police station, where Vickers and Detective Niven notify her that her boyfriend's lifeless body was discovered in a skip. She feels they aren't paying enough attention to the matter and decides to investigate on her own. She attends Justin's funeral, mourning his death and remembering the brief time they shared. She meets Dr. Munchen again, this time unable to manage her emotions, and he prescribes sedatives to help her calm down. When she wakes up, she tells him about Justin and her suspicions that his lone customer, Barry, was involved in the murder. Dr. Munchkin attempts to persuade her to let the police handle it, but Lindy is adamant on taking matters into her own hands. Despite his attempts to stop her, Lindy goes ahead with her plan and leaves the clinic after delivering a threat, despite his fears that she would injure someone. She contacts Detective Vickers and requests that he come to her residence. She slips into the building as he leaves, grabbing Justin's possessions from the evidence room. She gets Justin's address out of his wallet and goes to his flat to look for clues. Vickers calls her while she is searching, expressing his displeasure with her behavior. He informs her that his partner wishes to arrest her, but he gives her a second chance, saying that Niven is on her way. Lindy rushes out of the flat and runs into Niven at the door. Niven charges her with murder and plans to take her to the police station. Because Vickers is still on the phone, Lindy shares the phone with Niven and runs after beating her. She snatches Justin's McLaren and speeds away from the parking lot. Lindy is able to flee after Niven and Vickers are involved in an accident. She goes to a cell phone store the next morning and begs the manager to connect her with a hacker. Lindy requests that she break into Justin's phone, and the manager introduces her to Andy. 
Andy wonders if her lover was a drug dealer while conducting a check because he had erased all information from the phone. Lindy explains that he was only an accountant. The last six calls Justin received were all from an arms dealer named Barry Krasparki, whom Lindy believes was Justin's sole client, although he hadn't revealed his occupation. Lindy thanks Andy and leaves her with the car key, determined to pursue Barry. When she gets to Barry's place, she discovers that he organizes paid fights. She confronts him about Justin's murder, but he refuses to share any information with her. Barry dares Lindy to a fight with his three best men in exchange for the knowledge she seeks, and she agrees. Barry reveals the outcome of the fight and takes her with him after defeating all three of them. Barry's men try to assassinate her in the car. Lindy, on the other hand, fights back and manages to overwhelm them, eventually forcing Barry to tell her what she wants to know. Barry reveals that Justin was murdered by his boss, Gareth Fizzle. He further says that locating Faisal would be extremely difficult because he is a powerful man, and even the government is unwilling to pursue him. Meanwhile, Detective Niven pays a visit to Vickers in the hospital and warns him of Lindy's history of violence and assault as a result of her anger issues. Lindy appears after Niven has left the room and praises Vickers for his earlier warning. She also informs him that she has located the murderer and requests that he arrest Fizzle, but Vickers says that they cannot act without evidence. When Vickers asks Lindy why she is so anxious to discover Justin's killer, despite the fact that they had only met a few times, she explains that he was the only really nice person she had encountered recently. Vickers, moved by her concern, gives her Fizzle's address but tells her not to go alone. Niven arrives and attempts to arrest Lindy while they discuss the situation, but she gets to flee once more. She arrives at Fizzle's office building, where Delacroix, his security officer, offers to accompany her to his office but then knocks her down in the lift. He questions her about the purpose of her hunt for Fizzle. She assures him that she is seeking Justin's killer, but she is not a member of Justin's family. Delacroix, on the other hand, attempts to spare her but takes her vest and forces her out of the building. Lindy constantly misses her vest in the car and urges the driver to stop, but when the driver refuses, she strikes him ending in an accident. She escapes from the car and flees the scene. After retelling her adventures, she sees Dr. Munchen again and demands that he develop another device. She returns to her flat later only to find that someone has broken in. She enters through the window and discovers that Fizzle's men have planted a booby trap designed to kill her in an explosion. She takes the device with her after disarming it and plants another bomb in the flat to stage her death. As she walks out of the building, she runs into Vickers, who wants to arrest her for her own safety but is distracted as her flat explodes, allowing her to vanish once more. Vickers calls her and attempt to talk her out of going after Fizzle, advising her to let the authorities handle it. Lindy, on the other hand, feels they will not arrest him and dismisses his concerns, continuing with her plan. She makes it to Fizzle's office building but is apprehended once more by Delacroix. Delacroix brings her to Fizzle, who admits to murdering Justin and many other innocent people. Lindy is struggling to keep her rage in check. With a hit to the head, Delacroix knocks her out. When she wakes up, she is bound to a chair. Lindy escapes and attacks Delacroix, forcing him to reveal the location of Fizzle's secret office. She is confronted by other guards, and a battle erupts. Lindy arrives at the workplace after beating the security officers on her approach only to discover that Fizzle has already been murdered. Justin enters the room before she could comprehend what had occurred. Lindy couldn't believe her eyes after witnessing his burial. Justin explains that he is a CIA agent who used her to reach Fizzle since they didn't want to get involved directly. He explains that Dr. Munchen had recommended her because he works for them and his research is sponsored. Justin uses an electric shock to torture her but the equipment no longer works on her because she has become resistant to it. Lindy retaliates by throwing her bag at him before fleeing the building. Justin, not understanding her motive, a bomb explodes, killing him. Lindy confronts Dr. Munchen after fleeing from the building and accuses him of manipulating her for his personal gain. He apologizes and claims he was unaware of Justin's plan. Vickers and Niven come to discover Lindy pressing Dr. Munchen to the wall as they dispute. They initially fear she is attempting to murder him and shoot her in the leg, 
but they soon understand she was handcuffing him in order to hand him over for arrest. Vickers admires her determination after transporting her to the hospital, and both of them assist her in covering her traces. They returned her device, which they had confiscated in the ambulance. Vickers asks Lindy out, and she agrees to think about it. Lindy returns to her old flat to collect her stuff after healing from her injuries and being discharged from the hospital. In the closing scene, she is visited by a strange woman who later reveals herself to be Justin Sr. Lindy has been under surveillance for years, according to the woman. They want to use her rage to bring down the bad people.